This video will guide you through the installation procedure of the RockShox Reverb Access Seat Post. The wireless electronic reverb access is all reverb, revamped with a controller you touch instead of a lever you throw. View a full list of tools and supplies in the video description below and review the user manual at sram.com forward slash service. Install a charged SRAM battery into the seat post. Press and hold the access button on the seat post until the LED blinks slowly, then release. Press and hold the access button on the controller until the LED blinks quickly, then release. Press and release the access button on the seat post to end the pairing session. Confirm that the pairing was successful by pressing the paddle on the controller. The LED on the seat post should illuminate, and the motor should be audibly working. Apply a moderate amount of friction paste to the inside of the seat tube and contact surface of the seat post. Do not apply grease. Failure to use friction paste could allow your seat post to slip during use, which could lead to serious injury or death. Insert the seat post into the frame a minimum of 80 millimeters, or the minimum specified by your frame manufacturer, whichever is greater. The minimum required seat post length must be inside the seat tube. Less than the minimum required length can cause damage to the seat post and or bicycle frame, which can cause the seat post and or frame to fail which can lead to serious injury and or death. Tighten the seat post clamp to the frame manufacturer's specification, or 6.7 newton meters, whichever is lower. If the torque exceeds 6.7 newton meters, the seat post will not function properly. Apply friction paste to the mounting surface of the clamp and the brake lever. Install the brake onto the handlebar in the desired location and tighten the bolt. Remove the controller mounting bolt and install the controller to the Matchmaker X clamp in the desired position. Tighten the bolt. Loosen the adjustment bolt. Rotate the controller to the desired location. Tighten the adjustment bolt. Remove the grip from the handlebar. Remove the controller mounting bolt and install the controller to the discrete clamp in the desired position. Tighten the bolt. Slide the controller and the clamp onto the handlebar and position the assembly in your desired location. Tighten the clamp bolt. Loosen the saddle clamp bolt and slide the outer clamps on each side outward. Install the saddle with the saddle rails seated squarely on the inner rail clamps. Slide the outer clamps inward and seat each squarely onto the saddle rails. Hold the clamps firmly against the rails and tighten the bolt just enough to hold the clamps in place. Do not torque the bolt. Adjust the saddle tilt as needed. If the saddle does not tilt, loosen the clamp bolt until the clamps rotate freely. Tighten the saddle clamp bolt to the specified torque. Rotate the tilt adjuster bolt clockwise until it is snug. To lower the seat post, push and hold the controller paddle. Your body weight will compress the seat post. To raise the seat post, unweight the saddle, then push and release the paddle. Use a coin to remove the battery cover, then remove the battery from the cover. To prevent moisture damage, do not remove the battery cover O-ring seal. Install a new CR2032 battery into the cover, positive terminal side first. Reinstall the battery cover, using a coin to turn the cover clockwise to align the dots and lock it into place. After your SRAM access components are installed and set up on your bicycle, Download the SRAM Access app, available for free in the app stores. Use the app to create your account, add your components, and customize your SRAM Access experience. 
This concludes the RockShox Reverb Access installation video.